Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about logs, the synchronization mechanism using log variables. So what is a log variable? Well log variable is a software mechanism implemented in user mode. When I say in user mode which means no support is required from the operating system and user manages this log variable. So how does that work? Now log variable is also called a busy waiting solution. Now this means that it keeps the CPU busy when technically waiting. Let me show that to you how that works. So this is a pseudo code for that. You have the entry section where there's a condition that says while lock not equal to zero, lock equals one, and then you have the critical section and then you have the exit sections. So how it works is that, first of all, let's say there's a process, okay, process P1. If the lock value is zero it means that the critical section is vacant and if the log value is one it means that critical section has some process which is running currently running okay so how it's going to work is that initially the value of the variable log will be set to zero over here okay let's say log equals zero all right then there, let's say there are two processes first process comes in sets the log value to zero then goes to this condition so what's going to happen is lock not equal to zero that's not true it's false which means it will come out of this while condition once it comes out of the while condition it goes to the next statement next statement says that set the lock value to one so it did that once it sets the lock value to one then it goes to the critical section over here and the process starts executing while it's being executed if there are any other processes come in, let's say P2, P3, P4, up to Pn, because this lock variable synchronization scheme is for multiple processes, not just for one. If any other process comes in, let's let's say for example P2 in this case, it comes over here. What does it say? So at that time, we are not going to change the lock value over here. The lock value is going to be set initially to zero. Then when the first process comes in, uh, it reaches here. It will set the value to one. So when the next process comes in at that point uh, we don't need to set it again because at that time it already has a value of lock one because the value of the lock is one this condition is met which means lock is not equal to zero lock is equal to one so because this condition is met it's going to stay inside this loop so this loop will continue executing this line of the this line of code is will continue executing and the next process is not going to be enter, able to enter the critical section or move to the next line of statement because this condition is going to be met at that point since the lock value is one while the first process is being executed. Now, once the first process, process P1, finishes executing, it is going to set the lock value to zero and then exit the critical section. As soon as it exits the critical section, because we have the other process let's say p2 which is already in the while loop this is continually continuously being executed that's why it's called busy waiting solution because it's keeping the cpu busy while waiting right it's continuously checking in this while loop because it was continuously checking at that point because the first process p1 already exited set the lock value to zero this condition becomes then false because a log value becomes zero this condition is not met that means process p2 will go to the next statement which is here again the lock one lock value will be set to one the process p2 is going to enter the critical section and then once it finishes the execution it will set the lock value to zero so the p3 will follow the same process okay so i hope it is clear to you as to what a lock variable is and how does it solve the problem of critical section okay thank you